Welcome back to Kane T's World. So today I'm going to do a quick little chicken rice recipe casserole thingy, whatever you want to call it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to comment down below. All right, y'all. So this is the ingredients, everything you're going to need. This is a so simple, so easy recipe, chicken and rice. So you got a cream of mushroom soup can. Cream of celery, you got the Uncle Ben's long grain of wild rice or original recipe box. Got a pep got pepper and um complete seasoning. Now to be honest, you do not really need seasoning because this Uncle Ben's has 23 herbs and seasonings in it. Because one time I made this recipe and I added like other seasoning, it was way too salty. So you don't really need any other seasoning because like I said, Uncle Ben's has 23 seasonings in it. Um, got the cooking spray for the pan right here that we're going to be using. Got the oven. It's setting to 350 because this actually bakes for two hours. I got four pieces of chicken breast right here that have been cleaned very well. And got my cutting board right here. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and cut my chicken breast pieces. Sorry, um, Kyla's in the background, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to cut them into little bite-sized pieces. You can cut the chicken any way you want. Strips. You can even leave them in breast for this recipe. But I'm going to do bite-sized pieces so the kids can eat it and stuff like that. So I'll be right back to y'all. <laughs> done cutting up the chicken there's the bite-sized pieces of the chicken I got the bowl I'm getting ready to mix all my ingredients together so simple take your one can of cream of mushroom let me grab a spoon hold on y'all gonna put your cream of mushroom in your bowl When you have three hungry boys to feed, simple and quick and delicious is the best to go. So, it don't matter, you don't have to get everything because we're going to put water in there anyway. Then you're going to get your cream of celery, your one can of cream of celery. Pop that bad boy open. You're going to have to add that in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and dump everything that's in the Uncle Ben's long grain. 
So the rice and the seasoning. Okay. Got the rice in there with that. The spoon about to fall. And we're also going to dump the seasoning pot. And don't forget to set your oven to 350. A seasoning pack right here that came with the box boom add that then you're just going to take either one of your cans or you can do you know each can but we need two cans of water so fill these up and pour two cans of water in there fill that one up okay pour that in there with everything okay and then you one more can of it. The other can. Okay. And you add that. Okay. So, what you do is mix all that goodness together. Okay. Add that. This is what it's looking like. Okay, it looks soupy and stuff like that. Don't don't you worry about it. Just keep on mixing. Don't worry about all the clumps being out. Because as it cooks and heats up, it will do its own thing. So just keep on mixing. Okay. Keep on mixing. All right, like I said, don't worry about all the clumps, you guys. You don't have to get all the clumps out. So, all right, Just mix it. You know, make sure all the rice is every everywhere in here. There we go. I see it everywhere. Now, move that. We're gonna move this to the side. We're gonna grab our baking dish. Okay, and make sure you spray your baking dish or it will stick. So spray your baking dish. I only have a little bit of this left, so I might have to eat this coconut spray. Do the sides, get them sides too. Make sure you get them sides. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my baking spray as well because that was only a little bit. I'm coming, baby girl. She want her mama. Okay, y'all. So, just to make sure, you know, because I don't want to stick it. I don't want that rice sticking down. Spray it good. Don't be afraid. Spray it good. So, this is what it looks like because I had to use the baking spray. So, you're going to take your mixture that we mixed up. Pour it in your pan. Just pour it just like that. Okay. Alright. Get all that little rice that's stuck in there. Okay. Pour it just like that. Hold on, baby. Then you're just gonna take your chickens that you cleaned and cut. Okay, hold on. I'm doing a recording. You just lay it on top. Hopefully, y'all can see what I'm doing, but I'm laying it on top of the mixture. You don't need to mix it. Okay, just lay it, spread it out though, you know, evenly in the pan. Just lay it, lay it, lay it, let it do its thing, let it lay how it's going to lay. Okay. Alright. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do, oh, here's what it looks, let me get y'all close up, okay? Hopefully y'all can see that. I just laid the chicken in the mixture, okay? Lay it, that's all you gotta do. Um, You can hit it, I'm gonna hit it with a little pepper. Like I said, you don't need seasoning because it comes with 23 seasons with the rice, but I am gonna hit it with a little pepper. Sorry, y'all. Trying to get y'all situated with me. Okay, I'm gonna hit it with a little pepper. Mama, Okay, little pepper, 
little complete seasoning. Like I said, you really don't need nothing. So I'm just putting a little bit. Okay. And then, of course, you got to put some butter in there. Who don't? You don't have to put butter. That's just what I choose to do when I bake it. So I'm just going to take some butter. Put little pieces of butter everywhere so when it melts. Bada bam. Bada boom. Bada boom. Bada boom. Bada boom. And let's get one more bada boom up in there. There we go. Okay. Okay, one more paper towel. I'd stay using paper towels. Oh my goodness. Okay. All you do from here, get some foil. Put your foil, make sure it's tight. Okay, wrap it. Whoa. Okay, put it tight, y'all. Seal that thing. Throw it in the oven. Keep it in the oven, y'all. Four. I can't, y'all can't see me, but two hours, okay? If after two hours you feel like the rice still isn't as soft as you would like it, just 30 more minutes, okay? So I'm gonna put it in the oven on 350, two hours. And then I will come back and show you guys what it looks like, okay? All right. All right, y'all. So this is the final, 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 final. Oh, 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 it's so hot, sorry. Final look of the food. And I got the broccoli and cheese and the corn. So I'm going to plate it up and show you guys everything and that'd be that. So yeah, it's nice and creamy. Let's see if I can show y'all. Look at that. Look at that gravy, rice, chicken. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. So good. So easy. Mm -mm -mm, y'all, I'm about to tear that food up. Do y'all see that? Chicken and rice casserole by yours truly. If you like how that plate looking, hit that like button. Comment down below and subscribe to our channel if you're brand new, welcome. This was probably your first video of many to come. So don't forget to hit that subscribe and I'm out.